we just saw Jeremy's list. Uh, I don't know if you want to go over it quickly, just in case anyone's tuning in now for the first time. Well, thanks. Uh, and yeah, I can, uh, I can run us through it, and thanks for having me. Uh, so Jeremy's running uh, a 23-point Fen Rao in the Sheath of P with adaptability to take him down into my uh, PS8. Um, he's not going to be able to match uh, Poe at 11, so he figures I'm going to have the ability to choose who activates and shoots first. 47-point uh, Miranda Doni with a TLT, EM, Harpoon missiles, bomblet generator, chips, and mm, the talkiest, chattiest droid in the uh, galaxy, C-3PO. <laughs> and a uh, Wookiee, which draw their fires, w uh, Wookiee commandos on Lorik. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, Michael, Mike, as he's, uh, he goes by, is... Uh, He's a member of the uh, X-Wing community in St. Catharines. My hometown. Yeah. Brock University, what, what? <laughs> um, so he is, uh, this is the second Can Canadian Nationals that he and his father, Tony, have attended. Um, they attended in the 2016, and his father, uh, Tony Mitrinsky, made top eight. I casted that game. Yeah, and then I remember you casted that one. Yeah, it was <laughs> the one where Wes Jansen kept flying over uh, debris yep, clouds. Yeah, that's right. Center, right. And then we had um, Mike make the top eight in this one. Uh, very interesting rock setup. He's definitely built himself a little uh, dash fortress in the middle, um, but they're spaced out far enough so that he's going to be able to um, manage those barrel rolls. And I like where Poe is. He's going to be able to either engage or, or uh, bait. And um, why don't you go through uh, Mike's list there, Em? Uh, so he's got Poe Dameron with the veteran instincts to bring him up to 11, R2-D2 for that amazing regen ability, Advanced Optics, which is fantastic on Poe, Black One Title, and Auto Thrusters. And then we've got a uh, 56 point dash with Lone Wolf, Heavy Laser Cannon, Ray, Burnout Slam, uh, Smuggling Compartment, Countermeasures, and the Outrider Title. So that Heavy Laser Cannon works all the way around. And so obviously with the Lone Wolf, he wants to fly these guys apart. I love the Burnout Slam on Dash. Um it's a big, I'm a big proponent of Burnout Slam on, on, uh, on anybody who can take it. It's, it's one of those cards where, I mean, not to get too crass, but it's sometimes Burnout Slam's a little bit like a condom. You'd rather have one and not need one than need one and not have one. <laughs> um, yeah, and so he's, he's clearly trying to set up a, a draw on Poe. He wants, he wants uh, Jeremy's list to go through the, uh, the bottom right-hand corner rock and the center rock is a, is a channel there. And, um, Do we think Jeremy goes for that or what? Jeremy's no slouch. I haven't actually played against him myself, but I've played next to him um, <laughs> about twice or three times this weekend. So I can tell you that he definitely will know what Mike wants to do in terms of uh, positioning. And, you know, the thing about his list is he's got multi-directional arc-based ships. And um, I'm just being reminded uh, by our friends that uh, apparently there's some sort of squadron on the other side of the lake that has lake, something, Lake Ontario. Lake yeah, Ontario, where is that? Is it Sugar Swa Squadron? Is it like Pepper Squadron? Paprika, I think. Paprika Squadron, yes. that's it, right, okay. So apparently Michael is a member of the Paprika Squadron, so <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and of course, Jeremy is. Although he's from Maryland, he's he's a member of the uh, the Carolina Crates that have come up for the weekend and their uh, their uh, attempts for the uh, for the Canadian Nationals uh, title. It's looking pretty good for yeah. them. It's uh, Canada Howards versus Howards. Four. Yeah, pretty much. We got Mike Brzezinski placing Jeremy. Um, ben, I forget his last name, who just defeated me by one point, um, is is playing Duncan right now, and that's going to be an interesting matchup as well because. That's uh, Pal Bases versus uh, Kylo Gunboats matchup, so right. that could go either way. Um, Who do you think uh, is in favor of this based on the matchup? This is a tough one. Uh, what I was trying to say earlier is that, you know, Jeremy may have arc base. Well, he's got two arc base ships, but they're, he's got multi directional arc base ships and a turret. So Yeah, those arcs aren't as big of a deal when there's so many of them. Quite right, quite right. And, you know, I mean, the thing about this list that Jeremy has put together here is that um, if he loses one ship and trades it for half haul on dash, that would be, what is that, 21. So, yeah. If Michael keeps dash alive and kills Fen Rao, he could win on points. 
if Jeremy kills Dash, the only one that Poe can take on points is Lowrick. So if Michael loses Dash, he'd have to kill Miranda and Fenn, or Miranda and Lowrick. It's a tall order. Yeah, I mean, we've got a ship with regen on each side here, which makes it rough for either of them. They, they want to focus those guys down, but it can be difficult when they're so slippery. Interesting comment from the chat here. I'm just going to address it super quickly. Yep. No, we did not have any ghost fens in the top eight cut. Um, Some in the top 16. I'm happy to report that I knocked one out shortly before the top eight cut, followed by uh, two of them uh, knocking each other out <laughs> at the last round of Swiss because they deserved each other. We know that we had uh, a considerable amount of ghost fens on our stream on the Friday. We were trying to show... Haven't had any since then. No, no. We wanted to show what sort of interesting matchups can happen against ghost fen where it's it's not an auto loss. And um, Yep, that's true. We saw Aaron Poppenhausen... Uh, uh, defeat it with a four ship rebel list. We saw James Ling with scum aces literally lose on the last die roll at time because of some poor luck. And uh, and then Nim Miranda got slaughtered by it. So, yeah, I mean, three ghost fens was great. We had some great content. I understand from some of the people who I know who have been watching M that you and Aaron absolutely did just an, a total no top notch job yesterday casting the, the second half of Swiss <laughs> on day 1B. So, um, as a reminder to everybody uh, as well, and mentioned it at the beginning of the stream, uh, this is coming to you live from downtown Toronto in the Sheridan Centre. VDL TV Live has been casting simultaneous streams all weekend of Armada and uh, Inter... Um, They're working so hard here. They've got everything going. Um, so you can now subscribe to follow their Twitch channel, and you can also check out their Patreon and give these guys a little bit of support because they bring fabulous coverage for everything that's happening in Toronto. Yeah, you know what? It, it took us a quite a while to finally convince Victor and Travis to get at their own Patreon just because of all the effort they put in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's more like just a, a reciprocal thing. I mean, I know I, uh, I have a ton of fun casting with these guys. So They work close with us PTLers. It's true. Cast a lot of our interesting content that we can put up together. And uh, some of the premiere events as well, but hopefully they'll be... Uh, They'll be in a position to maintain their relationship with Breakout Con in the future. Jeremy definitely taking his time up the board edge here, um, realizing that uh, you know if he if he engages this list too soon and he, he sacrifices his approach vectors and poor position, he can very quickly get out of hand fast. I, you know, you think to yourself like. Uh, the Anchorman quote with Ron Burgundy. Wow, that escalated quickly. Yes. That got out of hand fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so Dash Banking, another one with Ray. See, this is something I never understood about um, slow approaches on Dash or any list that contains Ray Crew. Yeah, you know he's going to have a huge he token already set. already has five banked, so he could literally probably go into the late game now and, and be fine. I mean, I never, if I see Ray Crew, you rush it, right? I, it's not that I rush it. It's just you got to be mindful. Three or more, and he's almost never going to run out again. Yes, you're right. Um, I mean, Miranda does have a TLT, which is going to continually um, tax on Dash's defensive capabilities. But, um, you know, putting putting the deposits in that Ray Bank are just, uh, they're paying long-term dividends. It's a very great upgrade if you have that time to bank a whole bunch before you get into that combat. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's play some. Let's play a, a quick math game, Emmy. You ready? I'm not very good at math on the spot. So let's uh, let's put it out to the chat as well. All right, everybody. And yeah, chat's smarter than I well, am. Well, and you know what? Chat may want to use their calculators, but I challenge each and every one of you to just make a ballpark guess. If you go to a golf course with your friend and you bet ten cents on the first hole, and the second hole you bet twenty cents on the third hole, forty, and then eighty, and then a dollar sixty, and so on, how much money is the eighteenth hole worth? I don't know. I don't like golf. It's millions of dollars. The power of compound interest. And I feel like the probability um, impact or the impact on the probability of dice modification in a late game is funny. It's something kind of similar with Ray. If you're making um, those kinds of uh, allowances to, to, to a Ray player to get those kinds of... Um, uh, banked focuses for for later in the in the mods. It's re it's really not helpful. Yes, yeah, so obviously. Uh, uh, okay, 
deciding to go fast. Interesting. So he's going to try and swing around the um, the side of the board that Mike started on. <laughs> possibly go <laughs> through the uh, just circle around the for top a bit. right hand corner debris cloud and the bottom right hand rock cloud here. They're both trying to get this engagement on their own terms. Oh, Dash just loves the rocks. It's, it's a fun ability. You're like, oh, I'll just fly wherever the heck I want. Okay, so Mike's going to take a barrel roll here, trying to get on the six of all of the rest of the uh, ships here. Dash, of course, just doing Dash things, ignoring rocks. He's going to barrel roll all the way forward and see if he can maintain arc, or sorry, maintain a range on Miranda. Okay, Miranda doing it too straight. Oh, sorry, that was uh, Fen Rao first. Fen, yeah. I love the mod Jeremy has on his uh, and his Ezra shuttle. It's really nice. We were talking about it in the last match. It looks a little bit like an E-wing. Have you seen it up close? I have, yeah. Very, very stressed. It's got basically uh, spoiler wings out the side and kind of like a mohawk fin on the top of it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's hard, kind of hard to see. Loop Cow from uh, from Twitter. Yes, this is an all-rebel semifinal. Luckily, the other semifinal table is Imp on Imp, so we are guaranteed an Imp versus Rebel uh, final, the Battle of Endor all over again. Nice. I was about to say what happened to all the scum, but you uh, were one of our scum players. I was the last one. Oh. Oh, sorry. No, Greg Chandler Burns and I were the last two scum players in the right. top eight. Yeah. So we had a very mixed top eight. Yeah. Which was great. Um, I think it's we nice to see all sorts of different archetypes um, making it to the top eight. Nothing worse than uh, just a, you know stacked all one faction or all one type of list, right? But we really had a, a pretty wide field. Yeah, I. I didn't see some of the things I was expecting to see personally when I was playing. I've seen some of it today, but yeah, really good variety. And some of the Americans who came up were like, you guys up here in Canada are nuts. Like, what are you doing with your meta? You don't follow the rules here. Did you guys talk about the uh, the debris gambit swarm leader uh, quick draw that happened yesterday? Um, I don't recall. Okay, so mad, mad shout outs to the boys from the Durham Region Gaming Club. Um, that came in from Oshawa and, and, and Pickering and, and Ajax because they brought like meta shattering nonsense <laughs> and it was just hilarious. People show up with like, you know, the lists designed to fight Ghost Fan or Aces or something funny and then you get like Adam Bawari who shows up with a, a Swarm Leader quick draw with Electronic Baffle. Oh my and, God. And then he's got um, debris gambit on youngster and then like a backdraft and an academy tie and just like it was hilarious okay so Jeremy looking like he's trying to lure Dash into the one place that Dash never wants to go which is the corner the corner yeah, yeah. and I think that Michael knows that that's why he's taken burnout slam burnout slam is designed to help get out of a tough spot when you need it especially when you get stuck in a corner yeah you know it's possible that Poe might still be in range two if Poe goes too fast here yep it will be interesting to see if Mike engages with Poe here or whether or not he's just trying to lure um, mm -hmm. yeah I think he wants Jeremy's to play into the flank. pretty careful uh, Lone Wolf range will be very relevant here shortly. We're going to probably have to see whether or not Lone Wolf is even active after Poe Yeah, moves. looks like there might be some shots this round. Okay, so as we're taking the two bank, we've got a full rotation from all of Jeremy's list here. They've got a lot of open space now to fly through wherever the heck they want next few rounds. Yeah. Well, I mean, here, Jeremy is in a, still a position where he can two-turn all of his, um, he can two-turn all of his list to yep, the left. Yeah, you're right. Now, have we checked, uh, yeah, I guess the checked arc for the flight assist astromech here? Yeah. Yeah, that's Six. out. Okay, so we're going to take the barrel roll from Fenrau. Dash look like he's lined up for, I would say, probably two or three shots here. Uh, Lorik may still have range. Uh, Fenn's done the flight assist ass for Mac barrel roll. Yeah, and we're going to see what uh, Mike's done with Poe here. Yeah, like we said, I wonder if he's even bothered to bring him in right now because I don't think he needs to. Leisurely one forward from Poe. 
trying to maintain lone wolf range. I think. Oh, uh, it's so close. I think if Poe boosts to his ship left, he will unquestionably uh, shut down lone wolf. Yes, I think even right now it's questionably in that range. Lag Jansen, uh, Travis is actually our producer um, this uh, this weekend. Uh, you're hearing my voice. I'm I'm Tim, but thanks anyway. So definitely shutting down um, Lone Wolf here. We've got a boost from Poe. So Poe is getting into range. I don't know how effective Poe's going to be able to be here. Uh, Might get a plink Maybe on. Miranda. Oh. Oh, yeah. We got range to Fen. Yeah. So then definitely range to Miranda as well. I would say probably... Uh, that's close. I would have called for the obstruction call here, but we're going to see. We're going to get some action going. Okay. So this is oh, nice roll. Drops it like it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Once per turn, just roll natties. It's actually a zero point evade, a uh, zero so point EPT that's been equipped to all players all weekend. Um, it's actually thematically relevant because of the weekend uh, festivities, but. Uh, Fen lost the shield there. Yeah, one shield down from Fen. Okay, so Fen does have arc on Dash now. Dash's passive mod is still going to be very beneficial against Fen's ability. Yep. Looks like one crit. Dash evades Two cleanly. Two evades. Okay. Uh, looks like Miranda's going to TLT Dash. Uh, we got one. Dash going to spend, spend one focus. Okay, and Miranda second volley with two hits. And Dash going to spend. No, it. he's going to take yeah. it. Keep the focus. Get some offensive. Yeah, ability, th man. try and get some early damage. Okay. Dash looks like he's going to go on Fen Rao here. Because in X-Wing, it's good to uh, shoot at the same target. <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, Fen evaded. It's a rough first roll from Michael. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lorik looks like he has no range and no range. Okay, so back to planning phase. Mm. So we, we what, traded one shield on Fen for one shield on Dash? We did indeed. That was, a, I mean, a fairly standard exchange, I guess. Dash rolling. Um. Yeah, because he didn't have the lone wolf, right? So... No, not a bad first round at all, uh, Carnivorous One. And thanks, uh, thanks for watching. I think we sounded probably a little bit less uh, spunky than we did at the beginning of the weekend. And <laughs> well, also we have to be quiet because they might be able to hear us. I think it's pretty good. We got a sound barrier up, but you're right. It's I mean, cardboard. I, I, I have a, I have a pretty deep voice, so it can carry you're very around. naturally loud. So I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> Got a big voice. Well, it works for you. Hey, Devo, nice shirt, buddy. He's got his PTL Canadian Nationals 2016 shirt on. So do you think we see um, Jeremy turning in now, like you said, or running towards Poe? It's a very tough call here. I mean, Miranda still has a harpoon missile. Yes. And if she were to two turn to her ship left, not clip that rock, which I very much doubt she would, and take a target lock on Dash. There's almost nowhere Dash can go to to, um, to, to get out of that unless he burns his slam. I was going to say, that burnout slam, he could burn it early. I mean, Jeremy's patience have taken him into a fantastic position here. He's literally just uh, gone up one end of the board and back. So he's reinforced in arc. Okay, Dash is doing the two forward. Yeah, interesting. You know, it's um, it's often understated. I think that Dash being one PS lower than these two makes him just an absolute amazing blocker. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like he's going for blocks here. It's not a bad call. I mean, if Fen Otherwise, he wouldn't have had anywhere really to go and avoid. Marina's going 3-4. She's not going to drop a bomb, which leads me to believe that Fen has actually banked left and probably going to bump into Dash. Yep. Miranda's probably a good ship to leave for last just because of the C-3PO. I mean, the C-3PO and the regen makes her 
um, a perfect end game ship against Poe. Yes. Well. Okay. So Fen's taking a focus here. Looks like Dash is going to take some pain. And Poe's going to one forward. Poe looking at possibly two shots here from Miranda and Rick where he is. And if he were to bank boost to his ship left around that rock and get a range one on Fen Rao, it would be quite good. I think this is rigged yes <laughs> is the answer to your question. <coughs> uh, All right. All right. We got a target lock Just on target Fen. locking. Looks like range two through the rock there. Okay, so we're going to check that arc. That uh, looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it looks very definitely. In. I think maybe they're checking for the obstacle. Yep. Okay, so we got Poe taking a range three through the rock. And, yeah. Oh, good thing he had that lock. Spend that lock right away. And yep. Hocus Pocus. Ability. Oh. Crit goes through. We got one crit going through into Hall on that round. Okay. Uh, as Lorik's going to eat that crit, withdraw their fire. Ah, yes. I see what happened. I was like, he took a shield off the wrong card. Nah. No, right, a, that's how that works. It's a fantastic damage mitigation list. Uh, it means that um, Lorik can keep his uh, reinforced token for the shot that Dash will probably take on. It's getting loud in here. Miranda's taking a TLT fire here. She's just and an she's eyeball. She's just going to blank it out. That one. Second volley. Just Ugh, as crappy. Not a very good roll. Neither of our players actually <laughs> having saved any good dice rolling skills for the top four. Yeah, now. they've wasted them all, <laughs> I think, leading up to this. It might be a long game just because of the dice. Okay, Fenrao takes a rear arc shot on Dash for three. Dash spending, taking one just, shield. Yep. Plinking away, slow and steady. I feel like he took too much damage there. No, he's had two shields left. I see three he's there. No, he did. He lied. Right, but didn't he evade two? No, he did. He yeah, actually said two shields uh, left. Two on Two shields left on dash. Okay, sorry. Oh no, that's right. Thank you. Okay, Lorik's gonna take his range two shot here. Yep. It's going to Wookiee Commando sh that. It's shooting a dash. Two hits. Caught. And we're going to re-roll that one. Okay. And takes another shield. Yep. Okay. Oh, dash has one shield. Poor left. dash. Not a terrible situation. Yeah, I mean. Miranda's ideally placed to leave a bomb behind where she goes. Um, Lorik can hop over Miranda, or he could even too hard to his ship left. Now, we saw in the last game, uh, Jeremy was not afraid to drop that bomblet where it was going to hit his own ships. I mean, and that bomblet, ships, right? that bomblet did so much work. He killed so many ships with just that bomblet in the last game. I mean, it's not going to kill Dash super fast, but... No. No, I feel like I feel like Dash is probably out of position here. He's facing the corner. If he keeps the shield, yeah. he's going to get into a position where he's... Like you said, he got tricked into that corner. It, yeah, it's not that he's getting tricked into the corner. It's just sometimes you got to give up the pursuit position. and go out and, yeah. and create another one. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. One of the chat members fire up the spirit bomb. <laughs> That's Dragon Ball Z reference. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Poe could probably just give up the chase, disengage to his ship right, and then maybe come about. Miranda's ideally placed a too hard turn left and keep the pursuit on. I feel like this may be the turn where Miranda too hards to her left and takes a target lock, setting up a harpoon for a later turn. Yeah, that would be good. But I'm very curious to see what Mike is going to do. You don't need to be as soft as your dad. Pardon me? You don't need to be as soft. I don't they need to be as soft as I They can't hear you. Okay. No. 
It keeps getting loud and then quiet and then loud in here. Yeah, it's true. We just want to respect the players on the stream table. We don't want to be too loud, but uh, it's tough. I have no idea how far my my uh, my Zach, how far my, uh, my my voice carries. All right. Well, this is a probably a pretty crucial turn. And any predictions on where Poe or Dash or, or Ezra, or sorry, uh, Fen are going to go? I am not too sure. I think I think you're right. I think Poe and Dash both want to try and disengage and come back around for something a little more favorable for them. Okay, Lorik's going to activate first. Okay, so Lorik is max lolling. Going up board, two bank to his right. Probably going to reinforce the rear here. Yeah, going to reinforce out of arc. Okay, then we're probably going to have to mark the other ship now. <laughs> Svam Jamvel from YouTube. The other table is Ben, I forget his last name, sorry. He's new to Toronto uh, versus Duncan Howard. Okay, so Dash doing the, I wouldn't say, yeah, I mean, cautious, but uh, very well-advised one hard away. Dash is one shield away from um, half health, which is not ideal. Taking the barrel roll to try and maintain range here. Might have accidentally given a Miranda arc if she does a too hard turn, though. Yeah, that, mm, it, it'll be close. Someone's uh, someone's phone is going nuts on that uh, stream table over there. I can hear <laughs> ping, ping, ping. Well, I can hear the ping, 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 too. Really? Yeah. I wonder whose phone that is. I think it's the table right beside us. I think we moved Imperial Assault here to try and be part of our uh, sound barrier. Oh, we'll, we'll keep the pings going then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a really interesting meta. Thanks for asking, um, uh, Sweets. Yeah, the, um, the meta has been really... Uh, mixed in the last couple of days. Yeah, seen definitely some of the uh, the stronger archetypes up there, but uh, none of the um, none of the I guess classically deemed OP um, top tier archetypes have been um, on our top eight cut. We have you know a three ship rebel, a dash po. We had um, casters and Kylo and uh, some Imperial Aces and then we had what we saw last week in Michigan which was the scum PS10 Alpha right yeah really nice mix everyone's greatest fear of all ghost fan was not brought to life okay no flight assist astromech there dash is in range range three unobstructed Dash's dream loves it <laughs> Loves it. Okay, Miranda has taken a target lock on Dash. I don't think she has arc. So I don't think so. there probably won't be any missile this turn. Save it for later. Yeah. Never hurts to have that target lock ready to go. No, Poe's going to be able to probably either K-turn next turn or three hard and really start putting some damage in. Yes, absolutely. Um, I can't pronounce your name on stream. Absolutely. It is a uh, U.S. and Canada target lock from the Carolina Crates. The U.S. is the friendly one. The Canada is the uh, uh, one that they're worried about. <laughs> so that looks Ooh. like... Oh, it's going to spend the focus. focus. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, it's very true, Tim O four sevens. It seems like it wouldn't be a national because there's uh, there's not really that many lists missing, but it's true. All right, we got a TLT coming at what looks like Poe. That's three hits. That's a three year, a three for. <laughs> takes one. No, it's shooting a dash. One more. Time. Okay, two and dash continuing to love TLTs. Oh man, just slow and steady. Yeah, mm. that's Death a, by a thousand card. cuts. Okay, so dash is now at half health. All right, so Jeremy up 28 points to zip after 44 minutes, getting ready to get the halftime marker coming up in about four or oh five yeah. minutes' time. Wow, these can go fast when you're not paying attention to the clock. Dash is going to take his HLC shot on Fen here. Okay. 
Maybe Miranda. Oh, I think he's taking yeah, he's taking it on Miranda. Oh, and he's already spent that focus. Okay, C three PO's for zero and no damage. Yeah. There's the three PO. Jeremy seeming to be well in control at this point. Yeah, it looks pretty good for him. He's done some early damage to Dash there. Yeah, no, his patience with the one forwards has really paid off in the long yeah. run, making the list come to him. It's a yeah. tough thing. I mean, one of the interesting balances that Dash has is he's got this huge, powerful gun, but he's quite poopy <laughs> for uh, for Final Salvo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't think we're going to go to Final Salvo. <laughs> no. Donnie Nguyen. What are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? How many How many games have you played this weekend? This weekend? Yeah, X-Wing, Armada. Five and a half Room Wars. Yeah. Four Armada. Yeah, so two different, uh, two two different games and two Room Wars. There's a lot of Are stuff happening here. Are you the Canadian National Room Wars no, champion? I, I, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we let the, the out-of-towner take it. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, we tend to let out-of-towners do. Okay, yeah, 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 fair enough. Wow. Okay, so I'm not totally sure what Poe's going to get up to this turn. Hmm, Poe could probably turn. But will he maintain arc on anybody? That's yeah, the question. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's Jeremy's kind of a tricky position. Jeremy's managed to get all his ships back into formations. Really good flying on Jeremy's part. He's been yeah. patient, but he's been thinking ahead. This is what sets him apart from people like me who just do my moves as they come. Yep. Reinforcing in arc. Uh, question from the Twitch chat. Is Vinder any good? We actually saw, what was it, a 47-point major Vinder yesterday? Uh, it was a lot of points. And uh, unfortunately, we saw it against that double Skurg bomb fortress list. Oh, isn't that fun to play against? And not. And he did not decide to just castle right back. So made it a game. <laughs> the bomb fortress uh, nim with debris gambit is just so... It's it's really hard to play against. All right. Miranda turning in, keeping that range on dash there. Also probably still have range on Poe. I think it's safe to say that Miranda might still have arc on uh on dash at this point, which is rough because that might mean he eats a harpoon missile and then bites the dust. Oh, yeah, that's super, super close. Okay, flight assist uh, astromech triggers and takes a one boost. Look at that. Still hanging out in formation. That's some beautiful flying. Yeah. Post taking the 4K opportunity here. Turn himself around, get his guns back in the fight. Now, does he have range on Miranda if he's back there? I would say yes. Yeah, I think, I think so, too. Yeah. I don't think Miranda's going to shoot at uh, at Poe at this point, though. I think her yeah, you know, her she's got that squarely locked shot. on, on Dash. Yeah. Yeah. I would almost wonder if Dash has Lone Wolf active here. I would say it's probably pretty close. I think so. I think he's got it. Finally. Those first bunch of turns without it really hurt. Yeah, the blank rerolls have been ideal. Okay, so it looks like Poe's going to take a range three shot here on Miranda. Yep. I see. Hit, hit, hit. Yep. Drops it like it's hot. Yeah. Very nice. It's that zero point EPT everybody's been working on all weekend. <laughs> Miranda's got it going on Miranda too. Miranda takes a shield. Not permanently, of course. For now. <laughs> okay. We got a TLT coming at Dash. And one hit. Dash going to evade it cleanly. Yep. Good to go. Okay, regens that shield, rolls two, and no damage on dash. dash Retaining a focus up. for offense. Yep. Looks like he's still got a couple focuses stacked there on Ray. Okay, see, 3 po is spent. Dash is going to take a HLC shot on Miranda. Not ideal at all. Checking for Lone Wolf. Yep, Lone Wolf he's is active. It. 
Okay. Spend that focus. For three. Looks like three. And Miranda taking two. Okay. So Miranda will need to shoot again next turn to regen that shield. I think we might actually see Miranda disengage here. She's very, she's not ideally placed. If Dash can give himself the rock obstruction with his double focus and lone wolf, he would be ideally placed to take a harpoon missile shot and possibly mitigate almost all but one damage. Yeah, you're totally right. And then if Poe were to three straight and then get himself into a range one of Miranda, it might actually get some real haul damage on that regen ship. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's some really good insight. So, yeah, I think you're totally right. Miranda's she's got to disengage this turn and come back around when it's safer for her. It's a, it's frustrating. I mean, you Miranda could actually probably just slam here and get right up on Dash's six so that there's nowhere to go. But uh, the real killer of the slam is that uh, Dash's slam doesn't it has a lower PS than Miranda's slam. Right. So she, he can slam, and then she can slam right afterwards and try and keep up with him. <coughs> cough, 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 coffee. Cough, cough, cough. I wish there was a cough button. <laughs> <laughs> sneeze I, button. It's probably good they haven't given us any buttons. Oh, no. I think we would cause trouble. Okay. I'm probably going to get a fast maneuver from Lorik at this point, or I'm guessing just a, a two-turn get himself back into the action. Yeah, I think he's got to turn so that next turn he doesn't have to deal with that rock because Poe's coming in straight. Yeah. I mean, Miranda is a tank, as we know. Um, but her two-turn to ship right would keep arc and potentially range for Dash's, uh, Dash's slaughter that she's so be she so desperately wants. Okay, so Delorick not doing the turn, trying to close the net and cut off Dash. Quite a very wise move. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, Dash using the opportunity to one forward and put some possibly lasting damage into Miranda. Okay, makes sense because uh, I feel like the following turn after Lorik moves then Dash could probably use his Burnout Slam here to get away. Yeah. Okay, Miranda doing her three bank. Looks like she's going to maintain arc here. Probably set up that Hypoon. That harp. That Hypoon. Whoa, <laughs> that Harpoon. And yeah, and My there's... brain does not There will not be point. a rock obstruction there. <laughs> yeah. I can't even imagine playing X-Wing for so many games and then coming back here and watching some more. Well, I didn't want you to have to do the top cut all by yourself. Everybody's over there watching the games. We've been uh, doing our best to try and bring uh, folks all over Canada uh, some content over this weekend, and we managed to get lots of different uh, clubs and squads and teams and things yeah. all on the, get their voices heard as much as we could anyway. So it's been really good. Okay, uh, Fen's going to try to target lock dash and fail. Uh, can't trigger astromech, uh, flight assist astromech, I should say, because he's got uh, Pose in there. Yeah. yeah. And so it looks like Fen's going to coordinate a focus to uh, Lorik. See if Lorik can lay down some hurt. Okay. So he did the two forward, not the three forward, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So now, if he's Poe sitting in both of those arcs right now. Yeah, so if Poe one bank boosts to his ship right, he'll probably get range one. Oh, he's doing the straight boost. Okay. So he's out of Fen's arc, and he's in two arcs right now from Lorik. He's going for Miranda. Okay. Uh, Ray comes on there. Poe's going to take a range two shot on Miranda. Uh, ooh, interesting ooh, decision. Spend. Okay, you, yeah. just does the two. Jeremy's considering his C-3PO. <laughs> you can see him thinking with his hand. Yeah. Guessing zero, rolling one, taking one shield. Okay, C-3PO has been used.
Miranda is going to TLT dash. Okay. Oh, is that a blank? First out? volley is a bust. Second volley for regen. Rolling two dice, not three. Oh. Jeremy's TLT is continuing to disappoint him. Yeah, wow. He may, he should switch out his dice, maybe. Okay, so Miranda's got two shields. Looks like Dash is going to be able to get some lasting damage into him at this point. That's a much better roll for him this time. C-3PO has been used. And he'll have to spend the focus. Is he going to... Yep. Just agreeing. Yeah, Miranda got one damage on that exchange. Okay. So Poe's going to be ideally placed to keep up the pursuit on Miranda. Her bomblet probably won't hit him if he two turns. Ooh. Yeah, he's in a good position Looks to continue like chasing. Looks like landing a pot shot from range three there. Every shot counts. Thanks, that Ray. Dash down to two health. It's not looking good for our friend Mr. Rendar. No. He might have to Does get out of dodge. Does Ben have a shot or no? You know, it's an interesting thing here. If, if uh, Michael can trade Dash for Miranda at this point, Poe could probably go into the late game against the other two. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then if gets Poe the shuttle, kills. doesn't even have to worry about killing Lorik. Yeah, I mean, Lorik is going to mitigate a heck of a lot of damage against Fen, but, I mean, trying to kill a regen Poe with those two ships is not going to be easy. It's not a fun and task. I think Jeremy knows this, too. I mean, he has to actually know what's going on here because if he trades Miranda for Dash, it's a very... Um, he, yeah. he needs to want to, for one, and he needs to get something out of it. He needs turn. to have a real plan in place if that's what is going to happen. Mike might not realize this and get a little spooked and run with his dash at this point, so we don't know. Um, but I think that this turn, that, yeah. this could probably be the game here. That last, um, what do you call it, heavy laser shot that he fired was very successful. If he could land another one of those, we could very well see the end of Miranda. Well, especially if Poe manages to squeak off a range one shot here. And like we just said, Poe is in a good position to chase her down. Hmm, it's a very good question, uh, non-Ron Con. If Miranda had three slammed into Dash's range one bubble, he would have taken no shots, would have had no shots, and Dash would have... Uh, probably potentially more health. Uh, I feel like Dash would have then almost unquestionably burn out Slam to get away, and that leaves Miranda with Poe on her six, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because no. she's got unlimited bombs. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that may have been... Okay, here's the move I was really worried. Okay, so two straight. Yeah, he's covering all his bases here. He's trying to make sure that... Uh, that dash oh. doesn't get away. Yep, hoping to finish off that dash. Reinforcing the Inarch. Okay. Mike knows what's up. Banking around. I'm gonna double focus here. It's always a good idea. Yeah, okay. So, Jeremy's uh, turn. Okay, two turning. Okay, looks like he's gonna disengage with Miranda. Ooh. If Mike did a three turn here, that might bump. Yes. We're going to see where Jeremy goes with this one. He's considering a slam or he might just focus. We're not sure. We're sitting here quietly in anticipation. Yeah. I don't want to say anything that might get overheard. So, okay, looks like Jeremy's just going to focus. I don't think you're going to be overheard. I can hardly hear you myself. Okay, good. Well, I'm sure the microphone can hear me just uh, fine. They I can haven't see my, been complaining. Uh, I can see my, my voice meter on Travis's computer going beep, 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 beep. So we're good. <laughs> don't worry. The chat lets us know when we, they can't hear us. Well, the chat has been pretty good all weekend. And they've been letting us know when we make mistakes or we forget things. So it's very handy. Well, I don't know if I could call some of the names that I'm recognizing from this chat handy, particularly some of the characters from south of the border that I'm recognizing. <laughs> but uh, I don't know anyone. <laughs> They're all my friends. Okay, that looks like a... That's a bump. Okay. 
not ideal for Mike. Yeah, Mike wanted that shot. Yeah, that's that's probably the end of Dash here. Okay. Popping countermeasures. Countermeasures being popped. Looks like he's got lone wolf range here. The countermeasures is going to be very handy this turn. Well, he's going to need the extra evade die, that's for sure. Especially if he's got lone wolf range. Don't know what the third die is, but we got a blank and a focus. Yeah. Jeremy considering his options here. Okay, he's rolled one. One evade. We're good. Regenning second shot. And rolls one. Just one. Just one. Jeremy's TLT is continuing to let him down. Yep. Okay, Fenn's going to shoot range three on dash. Uh, looks like just one. Oh, he's oh, got he does a, have focus. a focus. That's right. Okay, focusing up for two. Dash going to roll three dice. So four dice, sorry, because it's range three. He's and good he's to go. Two. Okay, Dash is going to take his offensive shot here and will not get to spend his focus. Aiming at Miranda, yeah. looks like. Now he'll get his passive mod. Lone Wolf's a passive mod, so he still gets that. Yeah, still gets his passive mod. Yeah, 100%. Two hits on Just Miranda. Just two. Call C3PO for zero. Takes a shield. Miranda, and slippery. It's a shame, too, because Miranda can probably just one forward here and drop a bomb next turn. Yeah. Lower sticking range two one. on dash. Hit and crit. Dash cleanly evades. Well, that countermeasure certainly helped him out that round. Hashtag clutch. <laughs> um, Jeremy forcing dash into a position where he had to spend his disposables, but at the, uh, at the cost of... Um, at the cost of no damage when Jeremy really needed to finish Dash there. Yeah, for sure. I think that was a great play on the countermeasures there. Okay. Well, we're back into planning phase now, and we're halfway through the match. Um, we can take this opportunity to talk about some of the clubs that have shown themselves this weekend. Sure. I'm not super familiar with most of them, but... I know that uh, we had PTL in Strong Force. Oh, what are the, who are they, Guy? Uh, Prototype Toronto oh, League okay. for uh, all you internet folks. I know we had the Salt Squadron. Yes, we did. Oh, um, I thought they were the Paprika Squadron. Paprika. The Paprika Squadron. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to give these guys the respect they deserve. <laughs> um, earlier on the cast, I had um, Evan with me. Evan is from Sierra Cruz, which I think is the Rad squadron i couldn't tell Radical. you sorry i don't know that one they have a podcast as well of the same name i think we saw a lot of the guys from the jj squadron out of uh montreal right mm -hmm. we've had a couple of them on the cast the grand river x-wing league from kitchener cambridge the walk squadron from london showed up we had the durham squadron gaming club we had yep. all over ontario come which was great Really great representation of uh, Canadian clubs. Uh, we had a gent in from Vancouver. We had some folks in from Nova Scotia. A Nova Scotia. <laughs> uh, Jeremy's yes, we had uh, him on the stream. Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't actually get a chance to see too much of what was going on in the stream yesterday. The room was very busy. Yes. Jeremy considering his options heavily here. Miranda probably going to see a, a bomb drop finally. We love that bomb lamp. Well, if we're on Miranda's side here. If we're Poe, we don't love it so much. You love a bomblet? I mean, if you're Miranda, S you love Said no it. one ever. No, if you're Miranda, <laughs> you love that thing. Uh. <laughs> okay. Looks like we've got I'm a judge call coming. For, no. Okay. Just a judge call coming, folks. Looks like they're going to get a, a, the clock paused, or the clock will continue running, and the judge will give them some time at the end of the... Uh, um, what are we getting a judge call on? Do you know? I'm not entirely sure, Because no. they've only just set their dials. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Why don't you, uh, why don't you stay put, and I'll go see what's going on at the table, then. Do you know what they're no. getting a call for? No. Oh, thanks, Travis. Are you going to go check it out? Okay. 
I mean, they're not doing anything, so. Looks like we got Don running over. Good. Good, good, good. R5 Don 4. He's been working real hard this weekend. He sure has. He what was, a champion. He was being our producer yesterday. He was casting with me this morning. He's been the judge this afternoon. It's just great to see a lot of volunteers. I know I, I tried to volunteer a little bit during the weekend, and we had lots of help from everybody set up and, uh, and help with the stream and the tables. And yeah, it, was it takes good. a lot of people to run one of these well. Yeah. Uh, DEFCON 0, just to be clear, it's actually pronounced Murica. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, there are two Canadians and two Americans left in the you top mean four folks. Two Howards. Yes, two Howards, which is great. We love having them. They're fun guys. Uh, very gracious in, yeah, we in can't winning hate and them. defeat. They're too nice. I want to hate them, but I can't. No, they're they're just they're just great guys. They're fun. Um, they're I, honorary uh, Canadians. Honorary Canadians. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's fun after uh, after the the Swiss last night. Uh, Jeremy doesn't drink, and it was St. Patrick's Day, so they wanted to know what was good to do in Toronto, and the list goes on. So I sent them down to. Um, well, the Sheridan Center, for those that don't know the geography, in Toronto is pretty equicentrally downtown. Yes, we are right in the heart of downtown. Yeah, we're right across the street from our town hall. And uh, yes. we're our town hall, giant city hall, if you've ever seen um, Resident Evil, the second one where they blow up the, uh, the, uh, the thing. Yeah. So the... <laughs> they're just chasing a judge yeah after they finished the swiss yesterday they wanted they were hungry obviously so i recommend that they go a couple of major streets over and uh and check out our chinatown on spadina which has some of the best uh chinese food that you can find in canada and they came back this morning and said it was like a food gasm they had a great time <laughs> so they're gonna come back they love us now i hope so yeah we love having them up here uh it wasn't just them they came up with uh jerry russell was here uh, ben Cavanaugh, um, Jill, I don't know her last name, I'm sorry, uh, uh, John Grasser came, Richard uh, Sue? 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 I think it's okay. Sue. Wonderful. That yeah, was a good weekend. A lot of showing from all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just talking about the dials. You know what, happened, yeah. what did happen? Ah, uh, I see. All right, so there was just some confusion with uh, the dials being set during the planning phase, and the judge is just uh, talking to the players, and we'll we'll have a report just shortly. Yes. What do you think Miranda's going? Miranda, um. I think maybe just getting around that rock slow and steady. I don't think she's in a hurry to chase off Dash because those other two ships, I think they can finish him. She wants to take some shots at Poe probably, start working on him. Hmm. <laughs> Steel open. A <laughs> boy named Sue. Okay, we're going to roll the clock back to 25. So that's when they that's when they, that's when they called Dash. Okay. <laughs> We're in charge well, back here. Three minutes. I paused it. No, no, that's fine. Right. We just know when they. I look back the time. They call, I looked at the time when they called the judge. Okay. Okay. So the judge has uh, spoken to the players. Uh, no worries, and we're just gonna move on. No, the judge, judge is still determining. The we're call. still making a oh, call. Oh, they're still here. talking about it. Oh, well, there you go. Paused as we confirm between the judges. Okay. No problem. Do we have an update from the uh, the other semifinal game? Do we know what the status is? <laughs> They're playing X-Wing. They're playing X-Wing. That's a good X-Wing. I like it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, they both look very serious. They have a huge crowd around them that all looks like it's the most intense thing they've ever seen in their lives. Is that because it's a game that doesn't involve any sort of crazy like turrets or bombs or auto damage or anything like that? <laughs> yeah, they're all right on the edges of their seats. Hashtag arcs only. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a really tough call for where Poe can go. I don't know where Poe can go that keeps guns on Miranda. Somebody in the chat said Talon roll. What do we think about a Talon roll? Mm. I'm sorry, a Talon roll. A Talon roll. <laughs> talon roll sounds like some sort of delicious breakfast pastry of some sort. <laughs> I've always a, wanted one. Maybe like, like chicken stuffed in a pastry. <laughs> delicious Swiss cheese flavored Talon rolls. <laughs> Streaming right now? Any of the other games? Yeah, what are no. the Destiny is still another Destiny's still 15, 
maybe half an hour away. Okay. So, yeah, anybody who's going to be tuning in to the VWTV live stream this weekend, just uh, stay tuned. There's going to be the simultaneous stream for the Destiny event coming on shortly. Yeah. 20 minutes, half hour or so. The Armada stream just finished up uh, about an hour ago. Uh, finished a little while ago. What was the name of the champion again? What? The name of the Armada champion? The Armada, yeah. Carlo, uh, it was Roque. Carlo. It was Carlo. Roke? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, congratulations to him. Good job, Carlo. He had a really good, like, that was a good run. I've never seen that many Armada games going at once. I'm just amazed that Norm got beat out because uh, he's the, the, the world guy champ. to beat. Yeah, so yeah. Carlo did beat uh, Norm, who is the world champion, yeah. in the uh, semifinals. And then played Yik, who is a super strong player. I've heard Yik is really good. I've seen him at game nights at face to face. I mean, these guys are deadly. They've been to, uh, traveling to a few regionals yeah. now, placing, taking all, a lot yeah. of the top four slots yeah. in a lot of those tournaments. They're all previous X Wing players, and they ditched us to go play a game where they could win all the prizes easily. <laughs> <laughs> no be, offense, guys. We love you. a small you. fish in a big pond. <laughs> or, sorry, a big fish in a small pond. But yeah, if you guys go follow VTTV, on, you can subscribe now to Twitch. You'll see everything that they're up to. Yeah, and don't forget all of the content from this entire weekend is going to be posted on their YouTube channel, all cut up and uh, streamlined and made pretty. And if you want to support that for further events in the future, you can always check out the Patreon. And we're going to keep bringing you top quality stuff. You can see all these beautiful flashing things so we always know what's happening. The pinging continues. <laughs> Somebody... Why do people not keep their phone on vibrate? Like, if it's sitting right it's beside you. No, I know it's Mine's not yours. vibrating. A buzzed, a buzzed. I got this. So mine's on silent. Oh, nice. I'll let you know what's going on. <laughs> well, finally, okay. The judges are at the table. They're just discussing with the players. We'll continue it's our... It's a uh, pretty big deal at this point. Dial yep. makes up. Clock is paused. Uh, you can see it at the top of the screen. So this game will... Play out to time. Yeah, the judges are going to roll the clock back and give the players the full allotment of their time for their match. I know yep. I had something similar in my match last time. Right, you were about 10 minutes behind the rest of us. Yeah, so I had a situation where a maneuver would maybe clear or maybe wouldn't. Super close. And in terms of like, I had my ketsu with my arc, so if I land the bump, if I landed the bump on the corner, I get the double tractor beam. Right. Yeah, and it was yeah. really close. So I said, do you mind if we let a judge Before do it? Before you even touch anything, yeah, exactly. you start knocking it around. And, yeah. you know, it's it's a great thing to do, especially at premier events. Nothing worse than going to a premier event. Yeah. And then, you don't want to feel salty yeah. about, oh, I think that was in, but we just accidentally nudged it, yeah. you know? You don't want to feel salty, unless you're from the Paprika Squadron, of course. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of guys here uh, this weekend who brought salt shakers with them, kept throwing them the, down. The gla empty glass yeah. salt shakers, whatever they wanted to talk about their match that just finished. It was priceless. I loved it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to see uh, what the uh, players are getting ready to do. So they're going at 26 minutes now, so they're probably 26 minutes. Okay. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll that back to 26 minutes, then. Huh? All right. Sounds good. So we're not. We don't feel it was. We didn't intention to do it. Oh, he can, he can spend the you might as well just talk yeah. to the We mic. have a judge here. Yeah. yeah. Judge is here. Great. Hey, Devin. How are you, sir? Doing all right. We're having a good tournament today. Uh, you know what? We've had a good tournament so far. Yes, sir. How are my levels? Uh, so uh, what we. It's unfortunate, um, you know, Michael insisted it wasn't intentional. Uh, he was willing to you know, have his dials revealed. That's not something that we feel is within the rules to, you know, force reveal that sort of information sure. or punish him by removing reposition options from him. So we've locked his dials. He, the, he cannot change them. Jeremy has an option to change his dials or not. And then we're going to move on. We've warned Michael and we've, um, you know, asked both players to play more carefully, especially on stream and in future. Thanks, Devin. Thanks, Devin. All right. Jeremy considering his options now, and he has a chance to reset. Uh, so he looks like he's pretty confident with his decision on Miranda. He's not even checking what Miranda's doing. He's just considering his moves for Ezra and Lorik. Okay. Definitely the, uh, the move I would have taken on Lorik here, just guaranteeing that Dash can almost go nowhere. So Michael definitely looks like he's committing Dash for the uh, for the purposes of killing Miranda. 
Well, I think like we were talking about, he might have seen that that's it's a worthwhile trade for him because Poe po can finish off that Fen Rao shuttle if he really wanted to. Yeah, you know, Poe's really good in the late game against those two remaining ships. The question will be whether or not um, Miranda actually dies this turn. Right. A little bit of wiggly there, that's fine. Looks like Miranda's going to slam right into the back of Dash so there. She will not be getting shot at by Dash. No. Okay. It looks like uh, Jeremy relying on um, Fen and Lorik to finish the job with Dash. Okay. We've got one soft from Poe. Probably going to see another boost here. Chase down that Miranda. Looks like Poe definitely has arc on Miranda. Oh, yeah. He won't be able to do any lasting damage, sadly. She'll no. Be, uh, oh, if he's lucky, he might get uh, oh, the power two of, in. power of a regen ship. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's going to be two regen ships shortly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except it's a regen ship plus two friends on one side and a <laughs> range two. Okay, looks like range two from our angle. I thought I heard them call it three. Oh, you think you heard three? I'm not You've got the headphones sure. in, I don't. Oh, that zero point EPT coming in handy for Mike Brzezinski one more time. Okay. <laughs> Every player, of course, getting use of this single turn, um, single use zero point EPT for our thematically St. Patrick's Day uh, weekend here for the Canadian Nationals. All you have to do, folks, uh, it's really simple. Ezra definitely, or sorry, not Ezra. Whoa. <laughs> Fen is definitely range one. That shuttle thing. Ooh. Ooh. That could have been better. Dash cleanly evading. Dash is happy with that. Dash sitting on two health here. If he can roll two paint and not take a crit, he can probably die. Oh. Middle one's cocked. Yeah. Oh, nudging things around with dice. Wookie commandos on that one. Just two. And. Lone Wolf lone on the wolf. second one. Top gentleman move there, Jeremy, reminding Mike about his Lone Wolf. It was a crit, though. Major, Major Hull Breach. We call that the dream for the last crit, Em. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Jeremy really needed to kill... Um, he really needed to kill Dash there. Yeah, I think Dash is in a good position this turn to now run away. A little bit. If Dash can three hard, three hard, he's definitely behind some of the ships. But you know what? Lorik is not, he's really hard to dodge. Right? Lorik can two turn to be in front of Dash. And then if Dash goes too far, Miranda can turn in and give chase. Poe's going to be really hard pressed to keep up. Yes, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> One of the streams says, I don't know which regen ship I hate more, <laughs> Poe or Miranda. Well, Miranda's <laughs> is a natural built-in ability. Poe has to upgrade something. Fair point. <laughs> oh, the K-Wing. The greatest made-up <laughs> made Star Wars ship ever. <laughs> We love it, and we hate it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those love-hate relationships. It's kind of like the TTC. We hate the TTC. Well, <laughs> sorry, I just saw your face change from happy to sad. This is why I walk happy everywhere. Happy face, sad face. You see, even Travis hates Miranda so much. It makes our lives a nightmare back yeah, here. Yeah, it's a streamer's nightmare because you got to run over there and check the bloody shields all the time. <laughs> Honestly, Jeremy, clean up your shit. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there that none of them I don't think are shields. <laughs> I th yeah, I think she's shieldless. <laughs> the chat reminding me that all Star Wars ships are made up. I mean, sure, but it's this one's like super made up. It's not in any of the anythings. So, uh, what is that? Uh, summation SAC dash is Highlander. I don't know how he's survived this long either. He's finally using his lone wolf. There could be only one Highlander. All right, the chase continues over here. A 
Mike now having set Poe's dial is just considering... Oh, he has set Dash's dial as well. It's just way over there. So he doesn't make another mix-up. Oh, that's a probably good Sometime, idea. Sometimes when you've got all those same Rebel dials, better keep it on your cards. Well, take me, for example. I fly two Shadowcasters, and I run in this all you have the time. To, you have to make I sure have you know. I two Shadowcaster dials, and I use one that's painted because everybody's always saying, whose dial is that? Oh, you switch yep. dials, this, that, and the other. And it's just, you don't want to get into when that When I nonsense. run multiples of the same ship, goes on the card. Yeah. Hondo P. I know Devin does that too. Whenever he flies tie swarms, he doesn't you even put the dials to. on the you table. You have to. It gets messy. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So we're probably going to get Miranda dropping another bomb here. Uh, it's going to be. Why not? I mean, it sure isn't going to hurt anybody. It might hurt Poe. Fair point. I, mean, I think it's on, <laughs> on ships. On her team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, see, I definitely see Jeremy's list uh, turning right upboard to try. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. Keep the keep the pressure up on Dash. Well, I mean, we're down to twenty minutes. You know, kill Dash, get those points. That might be all that happens for the rest of the game. Jeremy's definitely in the lead, driving seat here. I mean, Mike would still need to kill Fenrau and Miranda. If uh, it's an uphill battle, but it's definitely doable if he can get rid of Miranda. Yeah. Marking the back of Dash. You can see where he goes. Hard three, not a shocker. Now, is that a red maneuver or white? That's white. Yeah, it's a white maneuver on, a, yeah. on an Azatuck uh, ship. The only turn I really feel the Wookiee gunboat really needed that was red was the two turn. It's just the, 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 the hard two turns on that thing being white are crazy. <laughs> Uh, runner AZ, the other the status of the other game is that it is still in progress. Everyone watching looks less intense now, though. <laughs> okay, so Dash. Dash has done his three turn, which we knew was probably going to come. The he question is no whether surprise. or not Mike wants to stay there. Yeah, Lowrick doing the zero K turn <laughs> <laughs> on the, uh, the Wookiee gunboat's dial. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough call here. I mean, if Fen one straights and Miranda two turns to get uh, guns on Dash. Oh. Okay. Looks like a burnout slam. Okay, yeah. So Dash is going to take the three bank here. Yep, Dash trying to run away. Dash doing Dash things. That's what he does. I'm really happy they made Burnout Slam uh, large base only. I think it would have done terrible things on smaller base ships. Yeah, and I... Um, I agree. I think it's fair. Not entirely convinced Dash has dodged Lorik's arc here, but we'll see. Oh, I think it's close, and even if it is, it's, it is range three through that debris. Okay, Miranda thought that uh, Dash was going to stay put. It doesn't look like that's the case. She can still TLT Dash from there, though, possibly kill him. How has he got two of his ships lined up perfectly beside each other in that beautiful formation? It's almost like he's played this game before him. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see much room for Dash to do anything other than what he did. Taking the target lock. Going to try and finish Dash off with his TLTs here. It's very possible. One bank from Fen Rao. Possibly going to get his flight assist astromech here. If he doesn't, yep. yeah, he definitely Pose doesn't out of there. Going to check, though. That was the loudest sneeze I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Some people sneeze loud. I just heard like a four decibel sneeze. So Fen probably going to... Oh, I thought he was going to coordinate there for a second. No, he's taking his... Uh, he's got a shot on Dash there at the rear. He does. Miranda's almost definitely not going to die here. It would be impossible for Poe to do that much damage. Yeah. Boosting... Still in range of that bomb okay, lit. So Poe has the range one shot on Fenrau. Bomb lit from Mike. One damage. One shield off of Poe. Right, 
Okay, so it looks like uh, Poe's going to take his range two on Miranda. Sticking to his target. He's calling zero for C-3PO. Spending Lorix reinforced token. Taking no damage. No damage. That reinforced token is very nice on Lorix. Range three from Fenrau rear arc on Dash Rendar. <laughs> Double crit. That's very nice. That'll oh. do it. Uh, doesn't look like Jeremy's going to remind him about his lone wolf again. No. Uh, I don't think a lone wolf helps him anyway. No, he's still taking a crit. He's still taking there. at least one. TLT on Poe from Miranda. Yep. Regen's shield for nothing. Okay, so Miranda's regender shield, and we are off to the planning phase. Poe sitting on two shields. Looks like they're probably going to try and, uh, Jeremy's probably going to try and pull his list around. Yeah, I mean, he's got that rear arc with Fen, so it's not too worried about turning him, I don't think. But yeah, got to get Lorik around. Yeah, I don't even know how fast Lorik really wants to go. I think he might just play defense at this point. He's got no reason to yeah, you're push right. the engagement, right? He you needs to keep Miranda alive. Yes. If Miranda dies here, he's in big trouble. Miranda looks in pretty good shape to pull that Yeah, off. I would say so. I'm just trying to think what Poe can possibly do to get out of this. I don't really see much. Uh, yeah, he's got to keep the pressure on, but he doesn't want to be taking shots from all of those guys at once. Well, no, I mean, he can bank, and then he can um, regen. The question will be about whether Fen self bumps on Miranda to try and block Poe. Uh, mm. Going to be interesting. Poe might two straight bank boost. I don't know. I like those 3D printed um, focus tokens that Mike brzezinski has got. Yeah. Um, he and Tony gave me those, uh, the ship marker corner mm. thingies that they uh, 3D printed. They've got, they're kitted out with everything. Mm. All right, we're going to see uh, what's going on with uh, I mean, Poe's already said his maneuver, so Jeremy's yeah, just deciding how best he wants to get back into position to keep the pressure up on Poe. No <laughs> <laughs> Rick turn in. Interesting to see what Lorik reinforces here. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a hard decision. Can't see what it is. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy, for placing the token <laughs> in the one place we can't see. He's messing with us. <laughs> oh, we're about to get this guy proxied, so we'll see. All right, rear arc. Okay. Lorik reinforces the rear. Okay, the too hard turn from uh, Fen there. Looks like a bump. Yep, driving into Lorik. Doesn't mind that one. Fen really wanted a shot, I guess. What yeah, I'm. I'm surprised. I think this is rigged as well. I thought. I thought that was going to be a bomblet there. It looks like it would have hit him perfectly too. I think Jeremy might have just been worried about hitting Fen with it. Yeah, I think you're right. Jeremy doesn't want to do anything to help uh, Mike <laughs> destroy Fen. Well, because like we said, if, if Michael can get Fen and Miranda, the points are in his favor, but it's going to be really difficult. Okay, uh, Poe regened his shield on that show. He took a target lock on Miranda, but he's shooting Fen Rao. 
Oh, that's rough. Posability for two. Oh, two natural. Yeah, two natties. Looks like Jeremy brought that zero point EPT with him as well. <laughs> Everyone's got it today. <laughs> He looks Irish, too, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, just used it again. There you go. <laughs> I thought you were only allowed to use that once per turn. It's unique. I thought you could only have it on one ship. Posability. Looks like he's taking two there. TLT from Miranda here. Two. Auto thrusters for nothing. Yep. Regenning a shield with Miranda. Oh, Pose hard to hit with those TLTs. Focusing for two. Oh, interesting call here from Poe. Does he want to strip all his shields? He's going to spend that token. Spending that token. No arc for Lorik here. No. Oh. They're still checking. Back to the planning phase here. Not long left in the match, Em. Anything that we want to uh, remind our viewers about at this point? Uh, just going to remind you again because we love these guys. VTTV, you can follow them on Twitch. Yeah, and YouTube. Don't forget to go over yes, and subscribe. They've got a Facebook YouTube page. Well. Yeah. Um, let's see. The, um, the matchup uh, for the finals, folks, which will be coming up in probably about a half an hour at this point. Mm -hmm. We'll probably take a short break in between the uh, semis and the finals. Just let the players get a glass of water and collect their thoughts. And, yeah, uh, we'll bring back the, the coverage of the final round. I hopefully will be joined by, or joining you, Em, because you're, you're the host today. So Yeah, well, we shall see. I, I don't know. Usually for the last game, everyone's all excited and they're fighting over it back here. So Well, good thing you got a bodyguard right here for <laughs> That's you. That's right. Eh? That uh, that that slick-haired Alan Fung and getting back here while I'm on. Don't worry. Mm -mm. You could definitely take him. <laughs> him, yes. Kelvin, not so much. Kelvin's the jujitsu fighter, so <laughs> he's squirrely. He's like a he's like a spider monkey. <laughs> All right. Miranda getting back on her post. So maybe we're gonna see the bomblet from Miranda here this turn. I mean, ideally, you would definitely want to. Um, there's a chance that you could get a lasting damage into Pose Hall at this point. Yes, that would be. Doesn't look like it. No. No, I think Michael's chances of um, destroying Miranda are long gone at this point. There's only six minutes left. I mean, he can definitely try and kill uh, Fen and get some uh, honor for the squadron that he's a member of across the lake that shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the most hate-filled messages from oh, I know the, you're doing it just for the squadron across the lake that shall not be named. Paprika, I'll name them. <laughs> All right, pose right in there behind Lorik. Does he have a range one on Miranda there? Oh. Looks like he might have a range one on any one of his choice. Okay, so... Fen has decided to proc his pilot ability, so Poe will not be able to spend the target lock, but uh, mm. Poe's pilot ability doesn't count as a token, so right. three hits. It's the second time in a row that uh, Jeremy's rolled natties on, uh, on Fen. Well, isn't that just lucky? Okay, Good dodge there. that. Miranda looks like she's too close for a TLT. Yep. Regenning a shield, rolling two dice. She Focusing for two. Yep. yep. Posability and auto thrusters and no damage. Man, watching regen ships throw f ships at each other is... <laughs> it's like watching <laughs> Back two forth. kids on the playground just slap fighting each other. <laughs> it's getting eh, nowhere. Eh, eh. <laughs> They're not doing anything to each other. I love it. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. Marshall for the, uh, the weekend here, Mr. Graham Scofield. How you doing, sir? You look like a walking. He looks little, tired. He looks, he looks tired. Looks tired. <laughs> but his beard is magnificent. <laughs> That's all that matters. Well, <laughs> the chat wanting us to pick the camera up and, and run over to the other game and watch the table. Unfortunately, you're stuck with us, folks. Okay. 
Okay. So Mike just having to make his decisions on who he's shooting here. Super tough with that reinforced focus. <sighs> Still in play, though. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to finish anything off in these last four minutes. It's going to be tough. Poe can, oh, sorry, whoa, Fen can uh, two bank to his right. Uh, lower can probably, mm, I want to say, either bank left or... Yeah, one bank and left here. Oh, long bank. Never mind. Reinforce. Lower reinforces the rear. Okay, yeah. Fen taking the two bank to his right. Probably going to get... No, mm, there's no flat assist, no. You don't think so? I think he might barrel roll to keep Poe in his arc. Yeah, just focusing no. on with Fen. All right. Jeremy considering the bomb here. Not a bad choice. Thank you very much, Jizzly underscore TSR. Uh, I agree with you. The stream is really good. <laughs> Mainly because of Emily and Travis, though. I'm just, uh, just having some colorful, colorful baritone comp. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just the talent. There's some real technology going on back here. Oh, Travis's overlay is just magic. I love it. All right, where do we think Poe went? I guess we're about to find out. Miranda slamming around. Jeremy going for the kill. Trying to set up that uh, target lock for the following turn. If there even is a final Poe taking turn. taking a two straight. Now Fen's going to be able to activate his ability here. So if Michael doesn't have range one, it would probably behoove him to boost. Regen to shield there with R2-D2, and he's going to take the one boost forward. Yeah. Definitely still out of Lorik's arc, but no worries. Okay. All right, that bomblet. Yep, Fen stressing himself, shut down Poe's. What do we got there? Oh, rolling the bomblet. Yep. Taking one. Oh, no, that was two. He took two. Okay. Three on Fenrau. Needs to roll yeah. very poorly here. Which she does. I did that with my mind. <laughs> Takes two does hits. Does have that reinforce. Yep. Fenrau firing back. Uh, range one with a focus. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the other game just finished. Okay. Oh. Looks like they just called this game, too. All right, so it looks like Jeremy Howard is going into the final. 